Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I'm Nye. I'm Mako, and we're headed to a new world, although we may wish that we weren't. At least it's not Kingdom Hearts 2. You know, uh, I have no problem with rhythm games, so it doesn't bother me nearly as much as it should. It bothers me a lot because they're really bad. Okay, so we need to go to we need to warp drive to Monstro. Well, let's face it, the guy the guy who can the, the, the sound alike they got was okay for the Disney character, but let's face it, the guy they got voicing Sora can't sing. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, it's but the problem is it has nothing to do with the song; it's the actual gameplay is bad. Mm, well, yes. And the issue that. is, do you have any idea how many times I've beaten that world? Too many, probably. Yeah. The problem with it is that uh, in Kingdom Hearts two. In order to Jiminy Journal that world, you have to play every song twice. Once for storyline, once for Jiminy Journal. Yeah, and I think you have, I think you have to perfect them, don't you? Uh, no. You just have to um, you just have to uh, do the clear conditions. Uh, you know what I did do? There's something I need to do, um, which we're gonna do as soon as I hit a save point on the next world. Mm -hmm. There's something I forgot that? to do on Traverse Town um, when we finished Monstrum. Can I, camera, can you work with me, please? Okay, yeah, right. first the gummy ship. The only reason I came to Monstro is just so I wouldn't have to fight through the entirety of the gummy mission. Uh, you actually get a small shortcut when you go here by starting at that point. But yeah, um, there's something I got to do at Traverse Town. There's, there's a lot of things I could be doing at Traverse Town right now, uh, considering the fact that we do have high jump. Uh, that does give me a little bit of maneuverability, so I can do some of the... Or I can pick up some, like, the treasure chest that I haven't picked up yet. Um, so there is stuff like that. Unfortunately, we're beginning to reach the point where the weapons on our gummy ship have not actually... They're not doing the job anymore. This is the point where someone who actually cared about the gummy ship would start trying to put something more substantial together. Well, that's another reason I have to go to, um... I have to go to Traverse Town, because in order to put something more substantial together, we have to actually go spend in-game money to actually do it. Ah, uh, yes, you need a expansion. Yeah. Which, frankly, I don't care. <clears throat> okay. Our new world. Atlantis. Ugh... <sighs> Atlantica. There we go. Disembark. And if you know anything about about this game, then you know exactly why. At least I'm not looking forward to this one bit. This world sucks. This world sucks really bad. Actually, the only thing cool about this world, there's there's two things I kind of like about it. Number one is the first thing which they're about to show us when the cutscene starts as soon as we finish loading. So let's just, we'll wait for that to happen before I say anything. There we go. So the first interesting thing about this is that it, uh, come on, finish panning through so I can just, there we go. <clears throat> is that they show the transformation sequence, which is, or the transformations, which is something that the game likes to do. It likes to change Sora, Donald, and Goofy into other things. In theory, uh, this is this is sort of the gummy ship in some of their tricks. No, no, trying this, to is, make... this is Donald. This is Donald, yeah. This is so Donald's that... magic. He outright said it. So that they don't quite stick out quite so badly. Remember, they're not allowed to be muddlers. So, um, yeah, they, they have to do that. Uh, the other reason I kind of like it is it shows they literally teleport onto the planet. The gummy ship is not anywhere on the planet. Look at look at the flounder death stare. <laughs> it's not as bad as the Luigi death stare, but there's the flounder death stare. I always I must admit the the, the transformations are always neat, and there's I'm surprised more worlds don't really make use of that. The problem is most worlds don't need them. Mm. You know, most most of the Disney movies that we explore, especially in Kingdom Hearts One, but even Kingdom Hearts Two, there's not much that. Like, there's not this huge animation change. Most of them, you're working with humans. So there's no need for a transformation. Hmm. God, I hate this so much. 
The control scheme for swimming is so bad. The only reason why the control scheme is at all doable is because they repeat this control scheme later on in the game for other reasons. Um, which makes it doable, and thankfully combat works about as well as you'd be able to expect. Um, there we One go. of those cases where Lock-On will be your friend if it wasn't already. Mm-hmm. Because Sora will actually swim directly towards the lock-on cursor. Unfortunately, you do... Uh, the, the, this is... I found all of a sudden this is kind of cool because uh, it makes you actually think in three dimensions for the game. So you have to actually look around Atlantica, which was always a cool thing. The problem is it leads to stuff like this, where we spend like five minutes on a tutorial that I was okay with like three seconds in. I understand. Mm -hmm. Press this button to go up, this button to go down. We're done. No more tag needed. Good job. No, let's move on to Do not need another tutorial, thank you. Not needed. Oh look, Heartless. Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell shaped Heartless. It's kind of a shame that uh, Sebastian's original voice actor <clears throat> died a long time before this game started. Mm. Although, you know, they did manage to get a reasonably really good sound alike, yeah. Yeah. Donald just learned second wind, which is amazing. That means he gets up from dying a lot faster. We'll be applying that about as fast as I can. Is that everybody? You know, it's really kind of interesting. If you look, we look a lot different from them. Ariel's got the fish thing going on, and apparently I'm a dolphin. Okay. Nice job. Okay, am I allowed to leave now? Have I? No. I'm not allowed to leave yet. Oh, right, because I got to do this. There we go. Because reasons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is mostly uh, introducing you to the concept of underwater save points, introducing you to the concept of opening clamshells, um, you know, stuff. I'm sorry, but we need your help. <laughs> you're not allowed to leave unless you're helping us. No, no, no. Actually, I might keep Ariel because she has a healing ability. She is actually halfway decent in that field. She's not a bad fighter, but she's primarily a ma magic type, which you can kind of regret having to deal with at some points. Yeah. She's, uh, you know, she's, as I said, she's okay. Uh, we want to go to uh, Traverse Town. There's something really quick I just need to do over here before we leave. Uh, I should have remembered to do it before we uh, came to Atlantica, but I forgot we didn't do it, basically. So we're going to do two things. Number one, we're going to expand the gummy ship. Because I think I have the money for it. The first upgrade's not not pricey, if I remember correctly. It's pricier than it should be. Well, that can't you, you be helped, I suppose. To, you shouldn't have to pay in-game money and grind for, you know, a minigame. That <laughs> shouldn't be necessary. Okay, uh, when I get my other shared ability, we'll come back to Traverse Town and we'll go looking for the remaining postcards and crap like that. I just don't feel like doing it right now. Okay, so we talked to Sid. Hello. So he goes, well, that was quick. I, I was supposed to actually talk to him like 15 episodes ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, one thing come, one thing, you know, goes to another and next thing you know, I'm saving the universe. And I just, we just don't have time for this sort of thing. So he just introduced a new navigation gummy. The problem is we need to find another copy of it. Now I should be able to shop. Okay. So he sells a lot of stuff if you actually care. I don't. <laughs> it's a lot of different gummies. Um, I would recommend Haley, uh, Haley, heavily, do not buy from him. At all. There's like two or three things you're supposed to get from him. Chiefly the the, the comms. But that's it. And the the reason... system, uh, well, the, the, the comm and the sysop are in, yeah. like the unique stuff, but all the other Gs you can get yourself. 
Uh, you can also buy the spray if you want to add colors. Mm -hmm. uh, no, there's a specific reason why you do not buy the items from him. Uh, if you find all the puppies, you automatically get all of the gummy pieces, period. Uh -huh. We want to go to Geppetto's house. Uh, this was not here until after we beat Monstro. By coming here and talking to Pinocchio and Geppetto, we get to figure out that they're not dead. Hey, I think. Mm -hmm. This is a good thing. Uh, apparently, so Ge this is what's interesting. Geppetto knows about the Heartless. More importantly... Wait, what? What the hell did he just give me? What was That's it he not gave what you? He gave me Geppetto. That's not what he's supposed to give me. What the hell did he just give me? Check your stock. Okay, this is all... That's not what I came here for. Oh, it doesn't show you that, huh? Uh, wait, gummy. Gummy's oh, it's a, it's a gummy ship. There it is. He gave me the Geppetto model, but that's not what I'm here for. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, obtained Sid. So he's giving me... He, he like, crafts gummy ships for you. But hmm. that's not what we're here for. I think it might be in that treasure chest behind me, but I want to see if he has any other ones. Cactar. Come on. Yuffie. The only reason I'm doing this is there's a trophy for getting all the gummy ships. Okay, there we go. We've, we've apparently done enough. Is it in this? It's a small yes, box. Yes, it is. It's in that. Wishing Star. Okay. New That's... Keyblade. Wishing Star. So, the thing about this is that it doesn't do as much damage. It always crits on the final hit. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, that's why we came back. And do I want to go do that thing with Merlin right now? No, no, I don't. Moving on. Nope, don't, nope, nope. Stop, stop, stop it. Thank you, game. But no, I do not want to grab onto that item or that uh, that ledge. Thank you. It doesn't do anything for me. Okay, so we came back specifically to get Wishing Star just because it's a really good Keyblade uh, that we're probably not going to get anything better than that for a while. If I remember correctly, the one from Atlantica kind of sucks. But the one from the world after Atlantica is really good, and I'll be holding on to it for quite a while. Hmm. At least I think it is. It's been a while. Okay, into the Tranquil Grotto again. This is also the level where you start getting, um... You, you, you will start using your magic or you will regret it. For a number of different reasons. Eh. This level doesn't have treasure chests. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it does, but it doesn't. It doesn't have treasure chests that you can just tap your key on and open. So what it, what it has is... These. Would you guys get out of the way? It has clams, and clams have items in them. But as Mako so, said, you have to magic them, because not every clam opens up from being smacked. It'll say, maybe try magic, or this one won't have, won't, won't open if you just whack it, or something like yeah. that. Like, there's a red one that you might have just seen out of the corner of our eye, over there. That red one is a magic-based one. Uh, this level also starts with the extremely deadly enemies. We haven't seen one yet, the... Um, these, uh... The, the Soldier Heartless equivalents of this level, I think, is the one you're referring to? Uh, no. no uh, not ones? at all. Are you talking about uh, the, big, the big the big jellyfish? Yeah, the big jellyfish. It's a cottage. I was gonna say, while you're at that, I'm gonna pull up the names, because then they've got funny names, and it's not what you think they are. I just described them. It's uh... the big damn jellyfish. Okay, let's explore around a little bit. But this this level kind of does the same thing that a lot of levels do, um, namely that it it gradually ramps up the difficulty of the area over time. So we're not going to see some of those bad enemies for a while. There's an ether. You can kind of see the damage that I'm doing already based on the fact that every enemy is dying once I finish my combo. 
I really wish there was criticals, a way. I was gonna say criticals really do the job beautifully. They really do. And didn't we uh, didn't we decide that one of the new enemy types uh, gave you better drops based on criticals? What, what was, um, was there it was the black. It was, it was one uh, of the, one of the mushroom types. Is it the black you, mushroom? You have to finish it with a critical to get anything out anything out of it. Okay. But um, hang on. Uh, this lets you guarantee the critical. Right. So, so fire facing the little jellyfish things. No one, so I'm just looking up their names. They're known as sea neons and sheltering zones. Sheltering zones are the big ones, and you'll see why they're called sheltering zones when we encounter the first one. Mm -hmm. And the have we seen any of the soldier types this, in this one? Not yet. Not yet. No, the soldier types are. They're not all that bad, but they are. Um, they're resilient, from what I remember. They can be a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's not that they're resilient. It's the fact that they move a lot. Ah, uh, yes. They look doofy as hell as well. So <coughs> I don't know. I think I've seen enemies that look just like them in old Johnny Quest videos. That's not really helping. <laughs> okay, w when you <laughs> when you see them, you'll understand what I mean. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're. Okay, you, you, yeah, okay. I know the ones. At least I think they weren't the one I think we're on, on the same page. I'm just saying that I think they look doofy as hell. And they do. Mega Potion. Let's see. Is there anything back here? There is. I didn't already open this one, did I? Uh, the problem is the, the clams stay unlike... um. The clams stay and unlike uh, unlike treasure chests. And the problem is they don't stay open to show you that you've opened them. So it's sometimes hard to remember which ones you've got and which ones you haven't. The good news is these guys are, uh, they get a fair amount of experience out of them. Get a reasonable amount of experience and they don't, they, they drop a lot of MP bubbles, which is useful kind of in a in way. Zone, yeah. yeah, as I said, it's also like the other reason you want, you like, you'll like magic in this place is magic is kind of direction agnostic. You lock on and you fire. Uh, unfortunately, it is not. That that it is not. I, know, uh, I, I, I find that it's good for a place like this, be, just because of, you know, with the verticality. That well, that's the problem exactly. Unfortunately, a uh, fire has a minimum or has a maximum curve that it's able to do, so it cannot just. It can't go. Fire can't go straight up, and uh, fire and neither and blizzard has to, uh, fire curves, but it can't go straight up. So um, you know, it can seek, but it can't uh, you know. It can't seek something that's above you or below you particularly well. Blizzard has to go straight out. Um, Thunder can. Thunder is very good. And Thunder is pretty good. Uh, just the problem is Thunder is kind of the weakest spell we have right now. If you there hadn't worked that. it out, because they did tell us, I was saying just, just for those watching, they did tell us, you know, to get where we're going, follow the giant tritons. I've just been course, completely ignoring that course you know this also this, this is also a good way to tell us hey if you see a trident go in the opposite direction you'll probably find shinies yep and we're we should be getting a level up pretty soon here because we're getting eight experience off of each one of these guys and we don't need that much experience to level up but we did get a second wind off of donald which means we're going to drop treasure magnet that means he will get back up he also comes back up uh with HP fully restored, as opposed to limited HP, which is what he typically will they do. They come back with about half of it. Um, eh, uh, we're gonna drop evolution for now because I I kind of value Goofy coming back up more than I value him having that AOE heal. Do I have anything? Now we really want Strike Raid. That's the next thing we're looking for. Because strike rate is unless they unless they fixed it, strike rate is so broken. It is beautifully destructive. Oh, that, that that's breaking. I, was trying, I said strike rate was broken. It is a very che uh, cheatsy effect, especially if you know what you're doing. Whoops, I missed it. <laughs> Damn it! You have to go down down the uh, very specific section to get uh, where you need to go. Uh, where am I right now? Nope, did not want to... Damn it. No, we don't want to be here. We want to be over here. There's a... Atlantic is kind of confusing because it kind of forces you to go certain places. Did I open this one already? Yes. Okay, we want to be... Where do I want to be? 
Even I don't know where I want to be right now. God damn it. Do we want to be over here? We want to actually make it into that door this time. Which is right here. There we go. Oh, would you look at that. Search ghosts. Don't accidentally go into that little uh, bit in the middle there, or you'll have to come all the way back down again. God damn it. Search ghosts, unfortunately, can be even more annoying underwater than they were already, because now you have to deal with the underwater kind of physics in order to deal with them. And they still deal a lot of damage and all kinds of stuff. They still vanish. Uh, but they're a little bit harder to... Oh, come on! So irritating. So the prob the, the, one of the big problems is that underwater, you have this obnoxious acceleration that you have to deal with. And... Um, Against people like the Search Ghosts, it's kind of a pain to actually catch up to them. Okay, now we go this way. Into the Undersea Cave. Which is where we're probably going to start... Uh, see ah, here we go! Okay, so these are our new... Uh... What the hell? Oh, right, we gotta do it to all three of them this time. The rules are a little bit different with this particular set of red mushrooms. Where's the last one? So the, uh... Okay, can I... Are you not going to... Oh, hello. What the hell? Oh, that's one of the pink ones. Um... Yeah, that's new. Can you pause pause for just a second? So sure. Because this, this one actually does have a specific thing you ought to be doing to him. Let's that dance. is a pink agaricus, I think. It, it's dancing. It's dancing. Um, right. Three white mushrooms. Do the stop gesture. Star must cast stop on them. In order to right. achieve the most rewards, Star must cast pink agaricus. Okay, in order to achieve the most rewards, Sor must cast stop on the pink agaricus and then attempt to inflict as many hits as possible before the spell expires. Okay, then. You have to. The, you get one reward at forty and another at a hundred. Okay, let's do it. Good thing I'm wielding my super keyblade. You'll notice that we're not doing any damage to it. I teched like hell off of it, but I didn't do uh, that much damage. Huh? Because okay. stop doesn't last so long. Uh, it, it's for it's for stop guy. Probably stop guy. Yes. Have, you have the better version of stop. You'd last longer. But still, that was not a bad amount of experience. Now, those guys can only can only show up in two places. And that's one of them. I was really kind of hoping that we were actually dealing with the normal red mushrooms, because this is where the red mushrooms will give you the stop arts. Hmm. So I was actually hoping that's what we were getting, and um, that didn't end up being the case. That's fine. If you if you kill like if you hit him a hundred if you hit him forty times you get a uh, hang on let me just make sure I got this you get a serenity power a, a crafting material if you hit him a hundred times you get a uh, unique um, accessory the prime... when you say hit him you are, do you actually mean hit him a hundred times or do a hundred damage hit him one hundred times. How the hell are you supposed to pull that off? Uh, it suggests arrow or aurora or aroga. Yeah, those are new types of enemies, and uh, they definitely have changed the, um... Blizzard, to open that up. They have definitely changed the drop uh, requirements, some of these, because that's not how you used to get Serenity. Okay. Well, that's, that's just, you know, a Serenity part. The, the Prime Cap is also there, and it's not really fantastic. It gives you plus five defense at the cost of plus at the cost of a minus five strength. Yeah, I'll never use that. Hang on, I'm gonna look something up here for a moment. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna keep on fighting my way through. <laughs> Trying to get all the items from this area. Look, there's a stone over there that we can't move right now. So much experience. Well, the good news is we'll get to the castle by the end of the episode. Yay! By the way, Goofy is just as good underwater as he normally is, which is cool. 
Which is to say, he is a horrific murder machine. He really is. I mean, you wouldn't think that somebody could be so quite so deadly with a shield, but... But he is. It's definitely a thing that he is. Ah, damn it. So, let's see, I'm trying to remember how all of these... All the interactions here goes. Just gotta level up on Sora, strength up. Always appreciated. I don't even know what level we are at this point. Should probably check that. Ooh, bright gem. Neat. We're level 31. Okay. Um, can I deal with this right now? No. We're not gonna go into Ariel's Grotto because there's no point. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. To get ourselves a Mega Ether. Neat. What's going on over here? Was I supposed to go in this direction? No. Might as well grab a Mega Potion while we're here. More items that I will probably never use. Once you get Cure, you kind of... Items aren't as useful anymore. Okay, off to Triton's Palace. This is actually the outskirts of Triton's Palace. Okay, so here's the new soldiers. Yeah, the screw divers. Yep. And honestly, that's what you will say about them. You have to you have to watch out because they have this obnoxious uh, screwdriver attack, which is really really powerful. If you ever play Final Fantasy XI and you had to deal with Pug Eels at any point when leveling up, you understand exactly what it's like. Switch Ghost. There's actually a, uh, there's a trinity in the middle of that uh, thing there. I can't remember what type it is. Let's go ahead and, no, open. Thank you. Cottage. Let's see, I'm not sure, is that white? That's white, okay. So we're not going to be able to deal with that for a while. So I was just looking up what you're supposed to actually do with those with the Pink Agaricus, and it I I'm still not entirely sure what it is I've just seen. So <laughs> <laughs> it seems to imply it seems to involve using uh, using a quirk. The suggested thing, at least, seems to involve using a specific quirk of summoning and Ragnarok. Hmm. Maybe I can't I, I, I also, understand Ragnarok. And also stop that for obvious reasons. Yeah, we're not gonna have that for a while. But yeah, when you basically you cast stop on the three three uh, mushrooms around Didn't and he appears. Right. Then you cast stop on him, and the idea is you have to hit him as much as you can before it expires, so which is, you know, stop guys is the obvious starting point for that. When it expires, he then goes through a thing where he basically makes an animation for each hit you've made on him. So you hit him nine times during that. Hmm, okay. And you, so, you know, every t every tech you get is another point, is, every hit you get is another tech. So yep. tech, one, two, three. And when, if he makes it all the way to tech 100, he gives you all sorts of stuff. And he just keeps on throwing out potions and other things as well during that. Okay, we made it. We are at Triton's Palace. Oh. Here's Triton's Throne, where we will have a cutscene. Because you know I love cutscenes. There's, there's something about Triton I just don't like. Everything? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. That was too close. The fact that he's kind of a xenophobic dick. Yeah, there's that too. Who considers himself to be all-powerful and all-knowing. As as also hubris. Those creatures inside this palace. There's, a there's a lot of things that you could just not like about Triton. Oh, Ariel. When will you listen? It's, dangerous out there. it's also full of himself. Wants to lock his daughter up. Yes, we know. We're strange creatures. Behold, you sweep before the ruler of the seas. Also imagines that because he holds the a triton named after him, he controls all of the oceans. They helped us fight out those creatures. They don't 
look familiar. And he does know about the whole Keyblade thing. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Muddling. There's no such thing, certainly not here. But Daddy... Muddling. Oh, he is pissed at us. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? All kinds of pissy. And of course, Ariel's first reaction is, okay, I'm leaving the palace. <laughs> We're leaving right now. I'm not sure how I feel about Donald being an octopus. Mm. Being too like, Goofy being a turtle, that's a triumph of design. Donald being an octopus? What? Not really great. I like how, how they, their design for Sora was sort of a, a dolphin. Yeah. You're just a dolphin. That's all you are. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? And apparently Sebastian's a spy. They seem to be coming from Ursula's Gurato. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no Like he's just there's just something weird about him. And his lower lip is creeping me out. It's just like this sausage that keeps on moving amongst his beard. Yes, this crab can totally do so much to stop Ariel from moving around. <laughs> With his big hulking biceps dragging her away from danger. Okay, folks, that's going to be it for us. When we come back, uh, we have to go chase the plot because it has gone somewhere. We'll see you later. <laughs>